Good morning, friends. It's Miss Haiti here again today. Hope everybody's doing well. Today, I wanted to talk to you about being mindful. I want to show you a cool little breathing technique. And um, since we've been talking about birds, uh, I've been practicing yoga a little bit, and I found some yoga poses that incorporate birds. And you can try them at home too. Now, I, by no means am I a yoga teacher at all, but it's something I like to do for fun and it helps me throughout my day. So maybe it can help you too. So to be mindful. Mindfulness is being in the present moment. You're not looking too far ahead. You're not looking too far behind you, but you're right here in the right now. It's okay if you have a lot of thoughts in your head. You don't want to keep it clear but you want to practice controlling your thoughts and with intention, which means on purpose. So mindfulness is something that we can practice every single day, okay? Now, I wanted to show you a really neat breathing technique that helps me when I'm feeling scared or if I'm really angry or if I'm not sure what's happening. Breathing technique can really help you to calm down and maybe you guys can try it, okay? So you know when you fill up a balloon and the balloon gets really, really big and then if you let it go, all the air comes out? I want, to pick, I want you to pretend that your lungs are like a big balloon. So when you breathe in, you're going to breathe in through your nose and you're going to fill up your balloons, okay? And then when you breathe out, you breathe through your mouth and you let all the air out. Okay, so I know you all know how to count to four, right? So let's count. We're gonna do four breaths in. You're gonna hold your breath for four seconds and breathe out for four seconds, okay? Here we go, let's try it together, ready? One, two, three. Good, let's try again. Ready? Breathe in through your nose. That's two. Two more times. Ready? Breathe in through your nose. Last one. Breathe all the way in. All right, now we're gonna try our yoga that is incorporating birds. Pretend to be a penguin. This pose is called a mountain pose, and you can stand tall with your legs hip width apart and your toes pointing forward. Take your arms straight alongside your body and your palms facing out. Now, pretend like you're a penguin, braced in the cold wind. You can even waddle like a penguin. Pretend to be a hawk. This is called warrior three pose. Stand on one leg, extend the other leg behind you, and bend your torso forward. I stick my arms out, and I pretended to be a hawk soaring over the treetops. Now, switch sides and repeat these steps. Pretend to be an ostrich. This is called a dancer pose. Stand tall in your mountain pose, then stand on one of your legs and reach the other one behind you. Pretend to be an ostrich racing through the grassland. Switch sides and repeat these steps. Don't forget to breathe. Pretend to be a rooster. This one's called the crescent lunge. From a standing position, step back into a lunge position with a straight back leg. Inhale and take your arms straight up overhead. Open up your chest and take a few breaths. Pretend to be a rooster crowing. cock a doo doo, -doo. Switch sides and repeat. Pretend to be a flamingo. This one's called the tree pose. Stand on one leg, bend the knee of the leg you are not standing on and place the sole or the middle part of your foot on the opposite leg and bowing. Pretend to be a flamingo, standing in the lagoon. Balancing is hard. Now switch sides and repeat these steps. All right, guys, I want you to take today to try to be mindful, focus on your breathing, and stretch. It's always good to move your body. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.